The 25th round of the Super Motocross World Championship roars into the great Pacific Northwest for the Motosport.com Washougal National. Washougal, Washington, about a half hour north of Portland, Oregon. And it is a great place to hang out or watch a motorcycle race. And Plessinger rockets to the Motosport.com hole shot. Justin Cooper right behind him and Hunter Lawrence third. Oh, firing start by the number seven of Aaron Plessinger. Got a great jump out of the gate, able to get to third gear quicker than anybody else. Rockets out of there, and that is huge on this racetrack. Sometimes this racetrack has a tendency to race really narrow. Nevertheless, a fun racetrack for these racers. You're gonna have a huge advantage. Look. Like that? Oh, Jason Anderson makes the move on Hunter Lawrence. Puts a little mustard on the pass. Runs into him a bit. No love lost between these two. Love to have a go. Oh, Hunter Lawrence from second has gone down. He's trying to hold off his championship rival, Chase Sexton. Sexton will inherit the number two spot. Is there time for him to run Plessinger down? And what happened to Lawrence? Unfortunate for the man, the rookie running second in the points championship, leading in front of Chase Sexton, a points leader. Watch the inside. He's been going to the inside here. And as he does, he goes into the corner and the bike gets a little bit light at the same time he's leaning to initiate the corner and as he does that there's nothing for the bike to lean into the tires give way and down he goes costly mistake by hunter lawrence you want to watch the 250 class with all the young stars of this sport and then the second 450 moto but right now two laps oh, oh no he stalls, he stalled the motorcycle he got it refired but Sexton is going to try to make the pass. Oh, but he's on it. Oh, he does. Inside. Chase Sexton to the lead. Oh, another heartbreaker for the seven. Well, he has adjusted quite well from sixth to first. And he keeps the streak alive. Six straight moto wins for Chase Sexton. And what might have been, there it is for Aaron Plessinger. Loves the cheers from the fans, but he led and he stalled. 250 Moto 1 from Washougal. Kitchen absolutely buried off the start. And Vial, well, I thought he had the Motosport.com whole shot. Deegan battling him for the lead. Horsepower here, Hill, right here for the 250s. Vial making it happen on that Red Bull KTM, putting the power to the ground. Rear end never, rear tire never left the ground. And Ryder De Francisco is third. He's challenging Deegan for second. Not sure what happened to Kitchen there, but he is way back. Not what the fans wanted to see. 26th off the start as Vial leads Deegan because he knows in the final laps, he will be the strongest. So he can kind of wait it out right now. Oh. Unless you fall down exactly like that, then my whole plan goes right out the window. Hey, and JT, that is exactly what you were talking about at the beginning of this Moto RC. And, and I told him on the airplane yesterday, I said, I don't want to do it, but if you make those early Moto mistakes, oh. I'm going to have to call it. And uh, yeah, just a simple mistake. What happened there, you, he leaned the bike over, the foot pegs and gear shifter caught up, slowed his momentum down and he hits the ground, but he only lost one position, so that's not too bad. An even wilder travel story. He had to sleep at the Dallas airport Thursday night when everything got grounded. Romano 21st, Dax Benick 23rd. Oh, Deegan challenging now. Di Francesco, and he has it. Now the final shadowed section, and two turns to go for the Frenchman, who only has one overall win in his career in America. It's a good step toward a second one. Moto one at Washougal goes to Tom Vial. And Deegan will bring it across second. And that has really been the story of the season. Deegan's good every week, and everybody else has their ups and their downs. Yeah. We're looking at Levi Kitchen in 12th place right now after winning both motos last week. Here's Moto two.
Not the start for Plessinger this time. I think that's Hunter with the good start of the 96. Justin Cooper on the outside. Hunter has the lead as we head up Horsepower Hill and the Motosport.com whole shot. Well, that's the Hunter Lawrence that we have seen majority of the year right now. And that's what I talked about, keeping the pressure on Chase Sexton. Get those good starts. But... Oh, Jason Anderson, did you see that RC? Yeah. Two passes. A lot like the first moto, extremely aggressive early on in the early laps of this race. Looks so good on the bike. Bike looks like it's working well. Not too tough for that dude, though. Up horsepower hill we go, RC. Sexton on the outside. Drop back in. Looking to make moves. Not enough. Well, this is where he tried. Oh, he just put that motorcycle back on the ground. Is it going to be enough? Hunter holds him off. Oh, I like that crossback move. Oh, Sexton explodes around the outside and gets the spot. This is about these guys right here, and I'm just a has-been, so I love what these guys are able to do. Chase Sexton trying to take the lead from Jason Anderson. Great battle here. Pro Moto Cross, some Washougal, Sexton in orange. Just Ooh. wow around the outside. Not a lot of room, but he made the move to take the lead. Yeah, Pope. Yeah. As we mentioned, did get off the racetrack under his own power. Talking to uh, Kerry Russell Coombs there of uh, MX Sports, the promoters of this series. And she's helping cool him off. I think he's over with the Alpine Stars medics as well. Oh, we actually have the crash here for Pope. Uh, let's see, look at your screen. Oh, oh he high came together. sides. Yeah, they just come together. Oh, that was a really tough impact. Speaking of improvements, Chase Sexton just keeps getting better every week. Saturday cruise. Makes it look easy down to the end. He wins Redbud. He wins Spring Creek. Three in a row. Chase Sexton, 1-1 one, one at Washougal. Uh, look, it did like a little Tade Pagacha there at the end of the Tour de France stage. And here's what's interesting about this. Sexton, Plessinger, Anderson on the podium. A Honda HRC doesn't make the podium for the first time since the finale of the 2021 season the first time we haven't had a factory honda on the box that is an incredible run with the lawrence brothers and sexton himself and uh, ken roxon mixed in there as well hunter will be fourth overall today let's go vial another good start motosport.com whole shot to the 16. oh deegan up the inside. Can he make it happen this time? Instant replay of Moto 1. And again, Vial able to secure it. Maybe he does a cross under move like Jason Anderson did. Or does he keep it on? Whoa! -hoo! Oh, he tried. Or on the outside, but it is Tom Vial. This is where it gets back to it's hard to make a pass because Tom's going to take the best lines in this track because it races so narrow that it's easy to defend that position. Oh, oh, maybe not. Deegan on the inside. Can he make it happen? Shuts the door. Pass the lead. Hayden Deegan. What a command pass. And that takes some confidence to never let off. He jumped from one breaking bump to the other to make the move. And he is jumping everything now. And this would be also the overall win, by the way. What a great feeling right here. Just bringing it on to the checkered flag. Hard work. I haven't seen many 250 races oh. where you could do that this year. They have been nail biters, but not today. Hayden Deegan wins and dominates. Check this out. Three-way tie. Six, seven, and yeah. eight. How did Kitchen end up sixth overall with that 12th in Moto 1? That's wild map. That's where the, the map gets silly in the 250 class. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all. So go for it.